No comment. I, uh, that is, I'm afraid I don't quite know what to say at this time. Nothing can adequately describe what has happened recently. Let us begin with hymn number 27, Abide With Me. to say somewhat, but, well, it's like Vicar said, what words can, can, but something needs to be said. This, this is a day when we in Beckendale must commemorate so much. We may not have lost an immediate relative, but we can still grieve for them as have, and for those we bury today, the young and the not so young. Beckingdale is more than a village, it's a community. People know everyone and everything. <laughs> Mind you, some people think they know everything, and some people know too much. Some folk have lived here a long time, some too long perhaps, <laughs> while others of course are still new. But everybody rallied round and behaved like a real community should. Old enmities were forgotten and our hearts go out to bereaved and those as have suffered a great injury. Our thanks to those who behaved so bravely and calmly when this tragedy befell us. Nobody can bring back them as we've lost, but there are many good young folk still here, and they will, I know, do Beckingdale proud in years to come. This has always been a close and caring Yorkshire farming community. Today, devastated by tragedy, it has never been more united. The coffins were carried with quiet dignity from the church. Outside in the bitter cold, most of the community had gathered in shock and shared grief. It was etched on every face. For many, it was too much to bear. Thank you, Amos. It's very moving. Just what the village needed to bring us together. We have to now rebuild for the future. Oh, you're right, Mr. Page. Thanks again. Thanks. Thank you.
Man born of woman has but a short time to live. Like a flower, he blossoms and then withers. Like a shadow, he flees and never stays. In the midst of life, we are in death. We have entrusted our brothers and sisters to God's merciful keeping. And we now commit their bodies to the ground. Earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. In sure and certain hope of the resurrection to eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ, who died, was buried, and rose again for us. To him be glory for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and keep us. The Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon us and give us peace. Now and forevermore. Amen. Let's go back to the hotel. I can't. I thought I'd look good in black. You look good in a shower curtain. So let's go back. I've got to see a man about a dog. Do me a favour, Gavin. This is the man. This is the dog. What was all that about at graveside? There's something not quite right about me mum's death. He's hiding something. Seth! On behalf of the Daily News, and we know we can never replace Smokey, but me, Charlie, he'll love you to bits. Huh? You and your paper are barred from these premises. We're done. Thanks for the hospitality. Time was when likes of him had not been allowed through doors of these licensed premises. Those days have long gone, I'm afraid. Mm. Now then, Charlie, he's very friendly, isn't he? Yeah, he is. Do you think he wants a drink? I bet he could murder a light scotch. <laughs> you seen Kim about it? Uh, aye. Did she leave about five minutes ago? Left? Thanks. 